it is 40 years today when the genocide and pogrom against my community took place in Delhi. I don't call them riots because the riots means a two-way thing. These were targeted at one community. The person who is widely held to be responsible for them is still a member of the Congress Working Committee. I'm surprised that many of my Sikh brethren still see some virtue in supporting a party like the Congress Party. It is 40 years today when the genocide and pogrom against my community took place in Delhi. 3,000 people were killed in cold blood and the Congress has not to date apologized in a meaningful way. More important, do look at the failure of justice at that point of time. I don't call them riots because the riots means a two-way thing. These were targeted at one community and the person who is widely held to be responsible for them is still a member of the Congress Working Committee. So all I can say is they ought to be ashamed of themselves. I'm surprised that many of my Sikh brethren still see some virtue in supporting a party like the Congress Party, which is solely responsible for the atrocities committed against my community in Delhi in 1984. No, I think Mr. Malik Arjun Kharge, much that I respect him, I must respectfully submit he's lost it. He's showing deep-seated frustration, and that frustration is also understandable. Why is it understandable? When uh, Priyanka ji went to file her nomination, uh, he was not even allowed to sit inside the room. He was seen standing outside a room and peeping through a door which was ajar. Then when he goes to uh, Karnataka, he sees the mess there, then with the camera on, he's telling uh, the chief minister and the deputy chief minister that if you make promises and you say that you're reviewing a scheme, which means you're not going to be able to implement the promises, you lack credibility and you will get into trouble. That's a reality. The fundamental difference between the BJP and the Congress, I'm not bringing the Aam Army Party because they're not worth mentioning just now. The fundamental difference between the BJP and the Congress is when the BJP makes a statement and says we will deliver on an election promise, it has invariably delivered. If you look at all our promises from 2014 election to now, whether they are economic promises or promises which are more national security oriented or social cohesion, we deliver on that. The opposition, on the other hand, without making a detailed analysis of what the resources available are, without deciding whether they will have the money to implement a scheme, they go and make an outlandish promise, as a result of which they get into trouble. Now, for instance, free bijli. I mean, I'm citing, I'll, let me give you bijli and transport, two examples. Free bijli, well, you can give free bijli provided you have the resources. So they said, har ek ghar mein hum 300 unit mufat bijli de denge. अरे भाई कई परिवार ऐसे हैं जिनकी यूटिलाइजेशन इज मोर देन 300 यूनिट्स तो वो क्या करते हैं वो दो तीन कनेक्शन लगा लेते हैं सबसे 300 300 यूनिट के नीचे ले लेते हैं हमने क्या कहा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा वी विल हेल्प यू गेट ए सोलर पैनल टू पुट ऑन द रूफ ऑफ योर हाउस एट अ डिस्काउंट एट अ स्लाइटली सब्सिडाइज्ड रेट वंस यू इंस्टॉल दैट द क्लीन सोलर एनर्जी दैट यू प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम दैट पैनल that 300 units you can utilize for your own consumption of your household. The surplus that you get from the solar panel, you can use in a charging station downstairs or you can put it in the grid and you will get compensated for it. So one is a development oriented scheme. It's like the difference between providing somebody free fish to eat and teaching somebody how to eat, how to fish because the person who can Learn how to fish, we'll get some fish which he or she will eat and the rest he will take to the market. I'm just giving you an example. All our schemes are part of a very well thought through development model. If 50 crore of our citizens get bank accounts, if more than 52, 53 crores get free health care, what does it show? It shows that the scheme now is available. Honorable Prime Minister wants to make this 5 lakh per family scheme available to the elderly to beyond 70 they are not implementing it in in delhi even for the uh, people below 70 so we are not able to give the benefits of development to everybody so fundamental difference transportation let me give you one fundamental this thing it's based on price of energy okay 
All the BJP states and the Congress states compare the price of petrol and diesel. In Congress states, the 10 rupees per liter more expensive petrol and diesel. Prime Minister has brought down the rates of tax, central excise on petrol and diesel on three occasions, November 21, May 22, and more recently. Price of petrol and diesel has come down by 15 rupees and 17 rupees because BJP states reduced the VAT on it. 